also for Texas A&M. And they've spotted the ball at the ten and a half yard line. Each team gained 16 yards in their opening possession as a ball thrown behind the intended receiver Kelly. And that thing was very nearly picked off. Jordan Pugh. Take a look at Oklahoma offensively. They have been so efficient with Sam Bradford at quarterback. He struggled two weeks ago against Iowa State. The scoring offense at 44 and a half. If you remember back at the beginning of the season, Oklahoma was on a tear. They put 79 on North Texas, 51 on Miami. And then they put 62 against Tulsa and uh, things have slowed down a little bit though in conference and a lot of that is because teams are no longer blitzing. Alan Patrick slips down and let's check back to New York and here's Matt Weiner. Matt. Hey Ron here's our nominee for the Pontiac game changing performance. Texas got its 10th straight win over Oklahoma State but they needed this Ryan Bailey field goal at the gun to do it after trailing by 21 in the third quarter. Check out the season's best Pontiac game-changing performances at ESPN.com. Search Pontiac. Matt, thanks very much. You know, consider this. It's been one year and one week since he did the same thing on his first collegiate field goal to win up at Nebraska. Pass from his own end zone line is thrown complete to the 21-yard line. That's Iglesias on the reception and good for 14 yards. And that will move the sticks. Let's go down to the sideline, check it again with Jack Aru. Jack? Well, Ron, you know Oklahoma, the Sooners are coming off a of bye week. You also mentioned the fact that Sam Bradford did not have the best of uh, outings against Iowa State. I talked to Kevin Wilson, and he said he talked to his entire offensive squad and felt that they were playing, trying to be too perfect. He told them, relax, be aggressive, have fun. Cut it loose. Then he reminded him, make sure you take care of the ball, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's key. Yeah. Offensive coordinators have a way of reminding him of that, don't they? Far sideline. And uh, double coverage. That's going to be overthrown for Iglesias. I would say to the Aggie faithful who look at the score of that Iowa State game and gain some solids from it, we always watch video on Friday mornings, and it didn't take us very long to realize three times in the first quarter the wind was galing and Sam Bradford had men wide open for touchdowns and he missed connections yeah, and it's not just when the winds in your face you know he had the one under yeah. throw to Malcolm Kelly because it's in the face but then you turn around and go the other way you throw the long ball it's going to make it hang up so he really struggled and felt like maybe he got a little greedy in that game yeah yeah in fact that's exactly what he told uh, coach Wilson he said I, I tried to go for too much too many times as this running play is just stoned Murray hit by Obazar and uh, Oklahoma they've had a couple of slow starts here of late against Iowa State of course they were down seven nothing at halftime and trying to find that rhythm again you go back to the Miami game which we were here for Miami played almost all man coverage and blitz and they just picked them apart Oklahoma just and Malcolm Kelly just went right by them and teams now starting to back off watch how far A&M safeties are back they're making these explosive guys earn everything they get it takes a little adjustment well I'll tell you what they are they're about 12 13 yards off the line of scrimmage pass near sideline caught by Kelly on a high leaping grab and that from where they have marked it is going to be well short of the first down well that's you hear sure. the booze yeah. from the, from the uh, faithful here it looked to me like Malcolm Kelly made that catch beyond the sticks and it was the defender that pushed him back. Well the defender was a, a carpenter who has been so outstanding for Texas A&M number 13. Now the line to gets the 33. Yep it sure looks like it because it did defenders pushing him it felt to me like that mark should have been beyond the sticks and this should be a first down and a quick snap by Oklahoma and a low short kick and on the run the ball is not. And Oklahoma is on the football at the 32 yard line. And that's a true freshman Roger Holland who they just started let letting uh, return kicks. He had battled a concussion had a touchdown catch last week. He should have not tried to play this ball. It was a weird kick. Guess who made the recovery on special teams running back DeMarco Murray. Well he's out there as a bullet because that's of his right. speed. He's that's one of the right. fastest guys on the team. Good but point. And Holland a guy that they have a lot of trust in but he should have backed away from this ball when that ball came off of the punter's foot it was funny it was not hanging it was not spinning yeah. Holland should have just run away whatever call they used to make people run that was a freshman mistake. Well the, the kicking coach for Oklahoma was saying that's a lousy kick and then oh yeah 
and knuckleball worked well. Speaking to Murray, he gets nothing on this carry right here as the Aggies are really swarming defensively to pay, BC to pay defensively for Texas A&M. And a lot of people around here wondering, Alan Patrick, who we saw in the first drive, not playing as much as he did last year. Of course, Patrick had such a great season taking over for Adrian Peterson when he was hurt. But a lot of that has to do with the emergence of not just DeMarco Murray, but also Chris Brown. And Brown, not Chris. the flashy one, but boy, he's playing really well. I'll tell you, Brown, a two-time All-State player in the state of Louisiana out of Alexandria. This is a keeper by Murray and he gets nothing so it's going to be third down and I'll tell you Oklahoma right now even with the turnover here regardless of where they've been playing behind the sticks rather than in front and it looks to me like the team that had the bye was Texas A&M not Oklahoma they look awfully fresh in their front seven they've been getting pressure on Bradford early and every time they go to run it there's white shirts penetration the offensive line a strength for Oklahoma normally they are not getting their gap secured and the white shirts are able to get a lot of penetration. That's Johnson in motion blitz comes off the corner picked up nicely wide open over the middle first and goal inside the 10 yard and it's the man that was in motion Johnson I just talked about who makes a 26 yard reception excellent read and excellent throw by Sam Bradford the one thing that the coaches and all of the receivers talked about with Sam Bradford is the touch. He's just going to run right and sit between the linebackers and the safeties. Again, we talked about how deep those safeties are. Johnson just as he, and the ball was thrown right on time. It had to be thrown high because of Dodge, the linebacker, backing out, and Bradford threw it perfectly. Direct snap to Murray, and Murray will take it inside the five. He's still fighting. And they just now got him down. And let's see if they're going to say forward progress. I believe to bring it back to around what the three and a half yard line. A little bit of wrinkle here with the bye week. You've got a dynamic player like DeMarco Murray and Kevin Wilson, the offensive coordinator for Bob Stoops, an incredibly inventive coach. They will, of course, came from Northwestern where they had to invent a lot of offense to compete in the Big Ten. But they will throw a lot at you. He was up there with. Uh, Randy Walker of course uh, who shocked the football world with the, his death just a year ago. Pass right in the middle touchdown wide open is Jermaine Gresham the tight end. So with the night game here, uh, the athletic director Joe going all out here. We had fireworks going off in both end zones. Did you notice Gresham caught that ball with his hands? You know, watching he film, does, he's, been every he's been struggling with that. And I wonder if the bye week they went to work with him to work on getting the ball away from his pads. Extra point attempt is up and it is good by Hartley. And as we go to break, let's take one more look at the muff of the punt. Holland, a true freshman. This time last year, he was playing in the high schools. Right now, it's Oklahoma 7, AM nothing. And as we mentioned to you,